Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snookus and this is Harsh of Iron 4. So we are still playing the um, Kaiserreich mod. I remember it this time. And we are still at war with East Asia and Italy. The Italian Federation is um, soon to be crumbling under our superior socialist worker forces. Our so our uh, Workers' Liberation Army is on their way to make short, short work of these uh, monarchist, um, I don't know, oppressors, I guess. And yeah, that's the propaganda done for the day. Ow. Oh. The French-Italian war is merged with the Deutsch-French uh, war. Which is fine on its own, I guess, but... Um, but I, I kind of wanted Britain to stay out of this so we could... Um, Finish this off quickly and then, yeah, you know. Anyway, uh, the Weltkrieg, which I believe means just world war, is universally agreed to have been the most horrible war in human existence, but it appears that even the greatest nightmares cannot deter man's lust for blood. Um, after numerous political struggles and a period of diplomatic tensions, the uneasy peace between Germany and France has broken down. These two superpowers are now mobilizing their armies and preparing for a conflict never before seen to human eye. To the human eye. Um, I'm on the brink here. Uh, I'm not trying to um, be an ass here or anything. I think the mod is great and I get that minor issues do um, occur, especially when you aren't paid to, to the work. But I, I'm, on, I'm on the brink here to volunteer as a grammar Nazi and a regular Nazi. <laughs> uh, the military development of the interwar. interwar will be put to the ultimate test. New types of weapons, planes, artillery, ships and tanks will see their first usage in the battlefield. But who will emerge victorious? This is a question none can answer. And I saw your comments here about uh, wanting to check out America. So uh, before we continue, let's check on America. The pacifist states of America are making great gains. The combined syndicates are making some gains and the American Union are making some minor gains here. The only thing we can say for sure is that the United States are going to lose and that the music is going to play louder than ever. Uh, so New England seems to be fine with their little position here. They aren't a great power, exactly. Um, the syndicates, just by having Pennsylvania, do control a lot of the production and also Illinois. Um, Whoever, if um, the syndicates managed to take control of Virginia, they would have a huge amount of uh, power there. I really want to help out, but I can't. Whatever. Um, if we check the production here of um, the American Union state, I don't think they can rival the syndicates actually. Uh, but I do think... I don't know. They, they seem to be pretty evenly, evenly matched, all of them. Um, hopefully the syndicates can win out, but you never know. The German Empire is called in the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Oh no. Um, I don't know how we're gonna manage that. We are finally at war with the hated German reactionaries. I apologize if this music it, is too loud. Too loud. It's uh, loud for me as well. Uh, we are... F you know what? I I'm done with this. Um, It's interesting with new music, but uh, we, I don't want it too loud. Uh, we are finally at war with the German reactionaries. Shall we use this opportunity to help French resistance movements in Wallonia and Lorraine achieve long desired um, freedom? Yeah, I see no reason why we wouldn't. Um, go ahead. Okay, so Ukraine is against us now as well. This should all be fine because we I don't see a reasonable situation a credible situation in which, yeah, sure, let's uh, get out an aggression with Austrians for now. We will attack them in the future, but for now, I don't see a credible situation in which they can attack us by sea here. The only real attack they can do is over here, well, by sea on our northern um, coast here. But we're gonna shut that down immediately. You know, the French body has has um, the French body, the French body has um, has ways of shutting that down. You know. Um, if it's an illegitimate, illegi holy shit, that joke went bad. Anyway, um, we in Britain are going to block them from doing that. And uh, our only real 
issues are this front right here. And since we're going to get this anyway, we shouldn't have any worry at all um, defending this. Let's see here. Um, Eastern Champagne. This is Champagne. Champagne. And um, Pas de Calais. Calais. Uh, Calais. Don't know. Uh, so we shouldn't have a worry defending this. And we mainly want to, you know, do a, um, a mirrored, uh, but um, in the other direction, um, like sacramenting of the Maginot line here. We want to uh, just defend here and not attack and go around and pocket their uh, their units, th their troops. And hopefully we're gonna, we're gonna succeed with that. I should stop talking so much and just um, let the play game play, I guess. Uh, Alright. Well, we... Oh, so we weren't at war with these guys yet. That's why we weren't making any progress. Don't know why I didn't think of that. No matter. Uh, we are making great progress now, so... Um, and hopefully we can pocket them right this second. Ah, uh, here we go. Come on. Okay. Um, uprising in France... In Valonia and Lorraine. Thanks to our support, the French and Walloon population have risen against German occupants. Aux armée citoyens. Load oob file. Sure. Hey, we got some allies here. One unit. That's fine. Uh, seems like just one unit. Holy shit. Someone needs to work on these um, tooltips, but um, it doesn't matter hugely, but still. And some guys here. <laughs> they got Strasbourg. That's uh, interesting. Wonder if we can uh, take this opportunity and try to move to Str Strasbourg then. Uh, Indian volunteers have arrived. From the start of the Second Weltkrieg, Welt many volunteers have been arriving into our homeland to help our us strike your Help us strike the German beast in its lair and to bring freedom to oppressed European nations. Sounds good. Thanks for the manpower. We didn't really need it, but I appreciate it. Can we... Uh, no, we can't do anything with you. Alright, that's fine. How is this going? We... Oh, yeah. This is fine. Um, I For a second there, I thought this was us and they, this, were they, this was them. Mexican volunteers, same thing. Thank you. Um, now this should be a lot easier to defend. I mainly attack just to make sure that they do keep some troops on this front so that we can attack here unmolested on, um, with less resistance. Let's put it like that instead. Um, we can't do this. Oh, we can only do this due to having a syndicalist or travelier military, which is fine because uh, then we can focus on the tanks. Yeah, that's fine. Um, We kind of want to go down here, but not yet. It's not that much of a hurry, so we could do this. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. We we are going to need some more um, research anyway. We are uh, lagging behind somewhat on the industrial research anyway, so uh, this should be a big, somewhat of a boon. Hopefully. Let's check it out. Um, in 16 days, the radio is done. And... Okay, actually we aren't. We we could work some some. We could work a bit on uh, construction, but that's pretty much all. Well, uh, I guess we shouldn't trade with those guys anyway. We should trade with well these guys, but they don't control any oil yet. So um, Venezuela, sure. Let's get another one just for to be sure that we got enough. I have no issue with. Um, the Batov Batavian Commune taking uh, Belgium. That's uh, fine. Bulgaria won. Well, uh, great work, Bulgaria. That's... Uh, I mean, I don't know. Well, great work. And what just happened? Oh, maybe they... Uh, yeah, they're a puppet. Okay. They made them a puppet. That's uh, fine. Okay. 
Equity. We got some units here. Let's send them to help out, I guess. Um, let's stop these guys from deploying. We wanna... Actually, let's stop these guys as well. Uh, these guys, yep, that's good. We wanna make sure that we have enough equipment. We don't right now, and that's a huge issue, actually. Uh, so let's get more infantry equipment and let's move... Move it up to behind everyone else. Let's uh, cap this like that then. Um, but still up there. We we really don't need your expeditionary forces. It's fine. It's um, We're grateful for it, absolutely. But we, we don't need them. Uh, we are doing fine anyway. I promise you. Okay, so the radio is done. Uh, let's see here. It's 9.38. So let's get some... Um, Support equipment. Not support equipment, but um, peripheries, I guess. The Avalonian uh, Flanders nation is soon to fall, and we are greating, we are making great uh, progress here. It's um, real good, actually. Strengthening the Batavian Commune is uh, only good for us. Italy. Could be going better. Um, let's see here. The, um, the naval vanguard here. Let's stop it what you're, with what you're doing. And let's see here. This port is Rome. Um, we could go into Livorno. Or we could take these islands. You know what? Let's, uh, let's try doing that. Yep, yeah, let's go with that and see how that does. Uh, you, we can't have all of them. Make sure that Genoa is um, within our line of defense. Um, now we can probably do this. Yep, cool. And it's gonna take how long? For nine days. That's fine. Since we we are actually making progress here, but it's um, it's going quite slowly. Uh, I'm just gonna check that everything's fine up here. Yep, uh, it's going quite slowly. It's gonna repair by itself, I think. Yeah, it is. Um, you kind of want to win by attrition, or at least uh, make sure that our attritionary factors are fine, and uh, take these uh, factors out of commission for the Italians and give them. I guess the um, Italians would get them. I, I don't actually know. Um, what else? Yeah, right. We're gonna check on the navy situation here. Uh, these areas are secured. These areas are... We don't have access here due to um, the Spanish. That's something we should uh, work on. Uh, up here... We don't have any naval presence but because I believe our ships, our fleets are... Um, repairing. Okay, apparently um, the Italians surrendered to, to Austria. That's not great, but it could be worse. Okay, well then, um, you essentially don't have... Let's move you up here. You don't have any purpose. Let's delete your orders. We, we still want to have um, a defense force against... Um, against the Austrians, so um, let's keep them there. And then let's move the um, Workers' Liberation Army. Up to do a bit of a push up here. Well, to Berlin, essentially. Um, try to cut off these guys here. Um, since the, the Blitz command is essentially done, let's do the same uh, with that.
That's the first Blitz command. Let's let you prepare a bit first. Continue the um, then the other Blitz command. That's you guys. Um, you know what? Let's try to cut these guys up a bit. Just a little bit. We don't want to defuse our forces too much. And Blitz to the same area, but not with that kind of arc there. We, more like that. And hopefully this is going to segment their forces into three big chunks here. One above here, one here, and one here. Hopefully. It probably won't succeed, but it might. Um, Continue and you were the third Blitz Command. You aren't really sorted in the chronological order here, but, you know, what can you do? And you guys were going to use on the same place here, and also charge on the same place. Um... Just to make sure the attack succeeds. And also maximize the experience there. Um, we still want to take this, because we're still at war with them, right? Yeah, we are. Um, so when you guys are ready... Attention. How come we got this? What? I thought... Yeah, we're gonna help, um, of course we're gonna help Britain against uh, Canada. I don't really know what happened here, but the, uh, apparently we got um, control of Italy, um, which I have no issue with at all, but okay. Well, uh, then you guys are gonna need uh, some new orders, aren't you? Let's do this. I don't uh, imagine we're gonna attack Austria anytime soon, but... It's always nice to have them ready, isn't it? And then also the um, Italian Expeditionary Force. I don't know what, I, what I'm going to do with you, really, now. Um, let's just, I don't know, um, Garrison. Um, I think Naples is your uh, capital. Naples and Rome. Let's garrison those areas. Uh, mainly the victory points, I guess. Stuff like that, the victory points and the ports. Sure. Um, okay. Just to make sure that if something happens and we aren't uh, aware of it, that Italy still has some defense from our, us. Uh, Ottoman Empire declared, declared war on the Principality of L Albania, which is interesting since they aren't... I mean, historically, I get the significance, but uh, they aren't actually bordering them. Okay, so the War of the Atlantic, Canadian Intervention. What started out as a mere incident caused by show of force by the British Socialist Navy has now devolved, devolved into, into an outright war across the Atlantic. The Union of Britain has declared its goal of spreading syndicalism to the nearby state of Ireland, which prompted an intervention by the exiled British Royalist government in Canada. Well, look at that. For once, the British government is uh, looking out for Ireland. The navies and air force of both belligerents are already mobilized and the first shots have already been fired in the Irish Sea. Experts believe that the intensity of this conflict will be limited due to the large bodies of water separating the belligerents, but it has nevertheless raised world tension to new heights. Yeah, because... Right, okay, so the first war didn't happen, so... Scrap what I was gonna say. Uh, okay, um... So th this is gonna be an issue, um... In its own right, somewhat, due to, um... The risk of Britain being invaded. We can't really secure all of these areas. I can't anyway. Uh, I imagine Britain can do some something, but um, now that I'm considering it. Maybe we should split our huge force here. Let's split it into two. You're gonna keep. Yeah. Okay. So this guy is gonna search and destroy. We don't have access up here. You know what? Scrap what I just said. Until then, let's um, have you patrol over here. Search and destroy over here. And then when when and if we get access through um, the Gibraltar Strait, we can um, help the Brits out. It's weird that this is placed here. And also that you can't see all of the territories. Um, but you have to take all of these territories. I I, I think this uh, strait should be 
here instead or here or here maybe i don't know anyway that's um a bit of a tangent anyway uh anyway 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 when you speak of the trolls i guess uh, i don't know if you're aware of that saying the time is up so i'm gonna put in a cut here and uh, end the episode and then i'm gonna see you next time so please leave a like if you want to see more of this uh, series and if you want to see more of reich's uh what's it called kaiser reich the kaiser reich mod which i find very exciting and fun um so yeah please leave a like if you want to see more of this and if you want to just yeah, support me and consider subscribing if you want to get the videos straight into your inbox on youtube and for the rest of the day be a good per person and have a good day. Bye.